Hello everyone, it's Charlton. So there was a uh, fire at Trump Tower uh, tonight, or earlier tonight, around around 6 p.m. And I happened to be on my phone. I was working, but uh, checking my phone right when this started to break. And it happened right before 6 p.m. I started watching it around 6.30. But it was out within, like, uh, I mean, quickly, you know. I saw the uh, some of the video, which I tweeted, actually, at the time. And I tweeted, I wonder what time I tweeted it. I don't know what times it say. 3.34. So that would have been 6.30. I don't know why it says 3.34. Somehow it's on California time or something. So, um, you know, and let me play that video. Okay, so, you know, um, and that was about 6.30. Um, within 15 minutes of that, there was another video on Twitter of, you know, water shooting out the building, and I, can't, I couldn't find it again. Uh, and the fire was out, and Trump tweeted himself, you know, fire's out. Great job to the fire department. And he also, you know, said out, you know, made a statement about his building being really well built and stuff. Fire out. Fire at Trump Tower is out. Very confined, well-built building. Firemen and women did a great job, you know, thank you in all capitals, and uh, that's at 3.42 p.m. You know what, and that's about almost exactly the same time that I tweeted my, uh, it's 10 minutes later, you know, so within 10 minutes it was out, and uh, but a person did die at the tower because that was an apartment. Um, I think uh, the higher uh, floors are apartments and everything else is commercial office space beneath it. So um, a person did die in the, uh, in the fire, probably from smoke inhal inhalation, and I don't know that for sure. He died at the hospital, and four firefighters uh, were injured as well. So it's not, uh, it's not said, it doesn't say anywhere how the fire started. I mean, but it's, it's, it's a top story, and everyone's, because it's Trump Tower, um, you know, it's uh, getting a lot of media attention, obviously. So the person who died, his name is uh, Brasner. Todd Brasner, he's an art dealer. And uh, there's some history on him. He's known by uh, Andy Warhol. He was in Andy Warhol's uh, autobiography, so they must have been acquaintances of friends. So it says the fire was difficult fire. The apartment was quite large and 50 stories up, talking about uh, that's the fire. Commissioner Dan Nigro. Uh, the entire apartment was on fire. Uh, Todd Brasner was found unconscious on the 54th, 50th floor of the posh 5th, uh, Fifth Avenue high rise. He was declared uh, dead at Mount Sinai West Hospital. And uh, the famed artist noted that the pair, uh, this is talking about his. Uh, is uh, is known is knowing Andy Warhol, and he had a yeah, famous Andy Warhol print that went for six hundred thousand dollars, as well as a Marilyn Monroe print print of uh, Warhol, inscribed inscribed to Todd. So they were friends. So, but apparently, according to this article, Brasner had fallen on hard times of late, filing for bankruptcy in two thousand fifteen. And that's the individual right there who died. The upper floors, which are residence floors, are not sprinklered, uh, according to uh, the fire commissioner. And uh, But the building sure stood up quite well. And there's some other video. All right, just want to show you a couple more clips on Twitter of the, uh, of the fire or the aftermath and the emergency response. Here's, here's one of them.
man. That's the story there. Uh, fire, fire at Trump Tower when uh, one person was killed and uh, four firefighters injured. And uh, that's uh, that's it, man. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.